I am deeply honoured to have been given this award by my peers. To actually recognise the role of the MCA as a business, as a major force in this city, as something that will help the city continue to thrive and be seen as a true global player, that's what really matters to me. When I came here, I realised there was an extraordinary range and diversity of work. And I wanted to make sure that that was shown both within the museum as contemporary art, but also internationally. John Marangel's Bark Painting is the first to enter a major international museum of modern art, which means that contemporary Indigenous Australian art is now regarded as contemporary art. For me, is, is a great thrill. I like to think that what I've done is to re-engage the audience with art. That people are no longer frightened or think that the MCA is not for them. Art is for everyone, regardless of background, regardless of ability, regardless of postcode. We've gone from less than 100,000 visitors a year to over a million. And that makes the MCA the most visited contemporary art museum in the world. What I found here was a great curiosity about art. People weren't dismissive and nor were they cynical in the way that the Brits could be. Australians have always wanted to connect with the world. We've never been an insular nation. The fact that my 22 years here are being acknowledged by the people of this city is incredibly important. I was quite bowled over, to be honest with you. <laughs>